be a perfect time for us to share to you kung ano yung mga sets of tips and advice. So, if we gonna open this one, so dito sa button na to. Ayan. So, as you can see, may sariling monitor din siya or may sariling uh, screen din siya. Itong GoPro ko na ginagamit, so this is for outdoor. So, specifically, pwede siyang gamitin for mountain climbing. You know what, Makachin Kinetics? For me, vlogging, it's a form of communication. It's a form of how to express your feelings and emotions. Philippines is uh, one of the one of the most beautiful countries in the world. So, for today's vlog, Makachin Fanatics, I'm gonna show you all of my uh, vlogging uh, equipments and vlogging uh, materials that I'm gonna use for my vlog. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shinito and welcome to my vlogs. Yes, so guys, actually I don't know what is the flow of this vlog. Fanatics, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Shinito Ong, and welcome to my vlog. And so for today's vlog, mga kachin fanatics, I'm gonna share you some my uh, vlogging setup na ginagawa ko as always or as my daily routine. It would be a perfect time for us to share to you kung ano yung mga sets of tips and advice kung paano ako umpisahan yung vlogging ko. But actually, uh, you know what? Binili ko talaga tong mga sets of uh, items na to for vlogging kasi alam ko makakatulong to sa akin for vlog saka isa to sa mga reason why I start vlogging na ito yung gusto kong gawin to capture those pictures uh, to shoot and then uh, to ask questions to those people and then this is gonna be a part to show you or to share all of you my uh, vlogging procedure or vlogging setup na ginagawa ko as my daily routine so kung bago ka lang sa channel to mga kachin fanatics Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share sa aking YouTube channel, Chinito Ong. And don't forget to click the bell button at para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos ni upload ko. So mga Kachin Fanatics, let's start this. You know what mga Kachin Fanatics? For me, vlogging, it's a form of communication. It's a form how to express your feelings and emotions to, to your viewers or to those netizens that they're going to engage to you. So napaka-importante nun para sa akin na may mga tao sa paligid natin na they give some feedbacks or they give some uh, comments and suggestions in order for you to be more uh, grow enough and then uh, to improve. Because I know that every single details or every day na ginagawa natin sa buhay natin is uh, we are keep learning. Natututo tayo sa lahat ng mga mistakes and good bads na ginagawa natin. So for today's Vlog Magazine Fanatics, I'm gonna show you all of my uh, vlogging uh, equipments and vlogging uh, materials that I'm gonna use for my vlogging. So, let's start with. First vlogging item natin mga kachin fanatics. First, this one, the selfie stick. So, ito yung lagi kong ginagamit sa labas or ito yung ginagamit ko as always na ginagamit itong GoPro na to. But, minsan talaga mas uh, pinipili kong gamitin yung phone kasi it's a very handy saka na doon na lahat eh, yung application how because I'm going to edit as of now in phone. So, mas, mas madali sa akin mag-edit sa phone. So, Ito, ginagamit ko lang to pag mga outdoors. Like for example, you can use this one for ano din, for mga extreme sports sa mga Next, uh, itong GoPro ko na ginagamit. So this is for outdoor. So specifically, pwede siyang gamitin for mountain climbing, biking, uh, trekking saka sa mga extreme sports na rin like body jumping saka kung gusto niya ng mas heavy na mga ng mga vlogging. So, especially, maganda rin to for a travel vlog. Kasi nga, maliit lang siya, very handy, saka napaka ano niya, lightweight niya, saka napakalinaw ng camera na to. So, ako naman, I really love talaga to those people na gumagamit ng mga GoPro uh, items. Kasi nga, napaka wide ng screen, kalinaw ng resolution, sa ng result if after mo matapos yung ganong uh, pag-create ng mga videos. And then, at the same time, Ito, you can use this for underwater. So, pwedeng itong gamitin sa ilalim ng dagat. So, ito yun sa mga pinaka-exciting ano pinaka -exciting moments. Kasi, actually, isa rin to sa mga gusto kong gawin for for my travel goals episode. To go underwater, to do mountain climbing, snorkeling, lahat. As in, to see, to, Philippines is uh, one of the 
one of the most beautiful country in the world. Maganda or perfect location talaga siya for travel those episodes. So, yun lang. So, this is the GoPro Hero Plus. And then at the same time, uh, meron siyang uh, stand. Yan. So, if you gonna remove this stand, yan. So, ito naman yung keyway niya na selfie stick. Yan. So, you, you can bend. So, pwede mo siyang ma-fold. So, ang paglagay naman nito, yan. So, first, you will put here. And then, at the same time, so, ilalagay mo itong pinaka-screw niya. Yan. So, this one. So, ipapasok mo siya dito. Yan. So, dapat saktong-sakto sa katamang-tama yung ano niya. Yung pinaka-bottom line. So, next. Yan. Ito yung setup niya. So, pwede nyo siyang i-flip. Yan. Na medyo malapit sa inyo. Kung gusto nyo ng medyo mas uh, nearby para sa inyo. Kung gusto nyo naman ng medyo ma mahaba. Yan. So, ito. Pwede rin siya. So, actually, this is one of my favorite. This uh, three-way kasi mas ano siya, mas magaan. Saka mas uh, handy. It's a very uh, useful tool. So, at the same time naman, so, ito yung ito yung holder niya. Actually, part pa rin siya dito ng three-way. So, as you can see. Ayan. So, ito yung pinaka-ilalim niya. Ayan. This one. So, ito siya. Ilalagay mo lang siya yan dito. Ayan. Tapos, if, pwede mo rin siya ibalik. Ayan. So, ito yung pinaka-ano niya talaga. Pinaka-nagustuhan ko dito sa lahat. And then, at the same time, pwede nyo rin itong patayuin. So, like this one. I-fold nyo ulit. Tapos, kukunin nyo itong sa may sa may ilalim yan and then so pwede nyo siyang patayuin napaka ano nito napaka napaka ganda niya saka napaka useful to para sa akin as always kong ginagamit for vlogging yan. so ito additional info ko lang for this uh, Hero Plus actually may mga sets of casing siya so meron siya mga clumps different clumps Saka may mga case. So ito, itong case na to, uh, I use this one for for outdoor or for underwater. Kasi nga, ano siya, pwede siyang i-ano mo, pwede mo siyang ilugog sa tubig. So, ito yung pinaka-case niya. Yan. So, if we gonna open this one, so dito sa bottom na to. Yan. So, as you can see, May sariling monitor din siya or may sariling uh, screen din siya. So actually this is a touch screen, yan. Touch screen uh, ano siya? Monitor. Touch screen screen. So ito. So kung gusto niyo um makita ko yung mga previous uh, videos niyo or yung bagong shoot niyo, pwedeng-pwede yan siya dito. So it's a very useful talaga to for me. And then ito yung mga sets of uh, uh casing niya. So ito Pwede nyo siyang gamitin for outdoor din. And then, specifically kung by land. Kasi ito for, ano tayo, for underwater. So, this one. Ito yan siya. Saka this one naman, ito medyo, ano to, dust free. Kasi meron siyang uh, personal screen sa loob. Itong isang, uh, ano niya, pinaka case niya. Dito sa GoPro Hero Plus natin. So, next natin, mga ka-chin fanatics. Yan. So, actually, meron din siyang uh, remote. Yan. So, I buy remote din para sa kanya. Kasi, actually, this is gonna be a manual. Ito, manual to eh. So, ito, binili ko ito for, ano lang din, for, for additional. Kasi, pwede mo siyang ilagay dito, yan. Pwede mo siyang ilagay dito sa, ano na to, sa, sa selfie stick na to, yan. So, every time, meron din siyang sarili niyang lanyard na ilalagay mo dito, ipapasok mo yung kamay mo, at this, ganito yung paghawak sa kanya. So, if in-open mo yan, saka kinonect mo by GoPro, so automatic siya. Meron siya dito for camera, meron siyang for video, saka for settings. So, may mga different sets of procedures siya para at least mas mapabilis yung pagbablog mo or at the same time, para mas maganda yung pag-capture. Kasi from Hero Plus lang din, uh, wala siyang sariling remote, but you gonna buy remote na i-coconnect mo para sa kanya. So, next natin, meron din siyang mga safety... Uh, clamp this one. So, ito yung mga safety clamp niya na ginagamit for helmets, for bike, yan. So, ito yung nilalagay natin or ito yung nilalagay para dito sa GoPro na to. So, as part of our travel post episode, hopefully, 
if we, we're gonna travel some of those uh, places sa uh, Philippines so this would be fun and enjoy because it's more fun in the Philippines so yun lang next natin so I also buy this one so this is gonna be a Boya mic ito sa, isa ito sa mga pinaka helpful na na ginagamit ko as always for my uh, daily vlog uh, to go outside kasi nga uh, this is gonna be a flare ito yung flare yung ano niya uh, para at least ma-minimize niya yung voice which is pag once na nagsasalita ka by, by camera or on camera is napakaganda at napakalino talaga ng voice mo yun yung, yun yung pinaka-purpose niya is to focus your uh, specific voice that came from your mouth so napaka-clear at napakaganda so isa ito sa mga pinakamaganda at gustong gusto kong uh, ginagamit ko for my vlog so at the same time ito, ito yung pinaka-black niya as you can see yan so ito yung ginagamit na ginagamit for ano talaga ito yung pinaka mic niya and then ito yung protection lang dun sa mic para at least if ever na there's an air or may hangin na pumapasok dito is less lang din siya and then at the same time meron siyang sariling clamp so you can put this one na ginagamit ko so I'm gonna show you yan so ito yun siya and then also meron siyang sariling uh, cable uh, this one cable connector so, this cable connector, actually, meron siyang uh, two cable connectors. So, first, meron siyang uh, cable connector for uh, camera DSLR. And then, at the same time, this one. So, this is for the cellular phones. Like, mga ito, if, if example sa cellphone ko. So, yun yung ginagamit ko. So, how to set up? So, first, actually, and also, I buy this one. This is a Manproto tripod. So, isa to sa mga pinaka lagi kong ginagamit for my vlog. Kasi, you know what, uh... This, this would be helpful then. So, if you're gonna, you have some uh, video reactions and then also some, just uh, share some thoughts and advice like this one. So, this this one be a perfect kasi napakaganda niya. Advice ko lang din sa inyo, uh, most kasi sa mga tripod natin ngayon is a very, ano lang, which is a very lightweight. But unfortunately dito, medyo heavy siya konti, pero, pero maganda kasi siya gamitin eh. When it comes to the quality itself, uh, this would be a perfect uh, items or brand for you. And then, uh, I'll show lang yung kasi pag once binili mo to, wala siyang ganito eh. Actually, I put this one. So, binutas ko lang siya dito sa upper part. Saka, this is how I put this one. So, nilalagay ko tong ang microphone na to, which is the Boya microphone here from the upper part. So, um, you're gonna twist lang this one. Yeah. So, after you twist this one, so ito na siya, nalagay na natin siya. So, this would be a perfect microphone for you. So, kung gusto mo mag-vlog outside, so this is gonna be a perfect uh, tool na gagamitin mo para sa pag-vlog mo. Next is, if you're gonna put this one, yung pinaka-cord niya. So, ito yung pa-L. Yan. So, ito yung ilalagay mo dito sa pinaka-dulo. pinaka, pinaka -dulo. Yan. So, ito. Nalagay ko na siya. Yan. So, next. Na, na, ito. So, yan. Nalagay na natin siya. Nyo, yan. So, i-coconnect nyo ito dito sa phone nyo. Next natin is uh, yung, yung pinaka-microphone niya is yung mga accessories niya. So, meron siyang dalawang cord which is uh, meron siyang for cellular phone, meron siyang for DSLR camera. Next is meron siyang sariling pouch. Yan. So, as always na pag pupunta kayo sa labas, so pwede nyo ilagay yun siya dito. Yan. So, at the same time, uh, uh, we are going to proceed. So, I hope... Uh, Marami kayo natutunan sa aking vlog na to. So, uh, this would be a uh, helpful para sa inyo sa mga new YouTubers at saka new vloggers dyan na gusto rin or aspiring vlogger na gusto rin mag-vlog. Kasi, you know what? This would be a perfect time for you to to showcase what you have. To give all your best na ma maibigay or maibahagi natin sa ibang tao yung talento natin on how to create a video, paano tayo... Uh, sila muwa sa tao. Especially, you know what? Vlogging is very good because in a, in a past uh, couple of months, so napakarami na nating uh, experience or napakarami nating uh, natutunan for vlogging. First is the the communication process, the self-motivation, confidence. Lahat. Sobrang dami yung pwedeng matutunan talaga for vlogging. So, and I prepare some questions about vlogging. So, ito, ginawa ko tong mga sets of questions na to para masagot ko yung mga katanungan yung mga Kachin Fanatics. So, I have, I think, two to three uh, questions. So, I'm gonna pick. So, this question is very helpful talaga sa inyo sa mga uh, aspiring vloggers natin dyan all over the world. So, first questions is, top 5 best content. So, 
for me, uh, my top five best contents is uh, travel blogs or travel goals episode. So this would be a very uh, very exciting and a very uh, beautiful uh, vlog na gagawin natin. Hopefully, pag nakauwi tayo ng Pilipinas kasi I love travel. I love go to beaches uh, to feature those, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, food delicacies, and then to ask questions to those locals, yun yung mga gusto kong gawin, sooner or later. Next is food vlog. So, isa, isa sa mga pinaka-favorite natin sa lahat kasi, you know what, food is life. Go. So, napakarami talagang mga tao sa ngayon ang gusto ng, gusto manood ng mga procedure, how to cook. Next is our random vlogs. Unfortunately, random vlogs is all about uh, sa lahat ng mga vlogs na gusto mong gawin. If you go travel vlogs, personal vlogs, uh, food vlogs, saka uh, news and politics. So, it's up to you. Nasa sa'yo yun. You know what? Napakalawak at napakadaming uh, pwedeng pasukin for vlog. So, personal vlogs. So, as part na ginagawa ko rin to na minsan na nagbablog ako, uh, napakasarap sa feeling na you, you give your sentiments, comments, and suggestions on uh, what is all about or what's happening in our uh, world nowadays. Kasi, Una-una, you will give your message to those people na makipag, makabigay ng advice, ma-lift up sila, you give some suggestions para mas, uh, ano sila, mas maging better person as well, saka mas maging strong pa. So, lastly is informative vlog. You know what? This is one of my favorite vlog na ginagawa ko, uh, informative vlog, because you give information to those people, which is very authentic. Uh, and then at the same time, you will teach them how is the procedure, the process, and then uh, to give some uh, sets of advice para at least matutunan nila lahat ng mga bagay na you know what, every single details talaga in your life you need to be more sacrifice saka kailangan you have reflection you have you have a role model kasi pag once, example, I do this vlog because I want to share all of you what is uh, the importance of vlogging for me or what is the impact you know what, if you do such things in life na ginawa mo by your own it's, it's a small impact for you pero malaking bagay yun para sa ibang tao you don't even know behind na may mga tao makakanood sa'yo na ma-appreciate yung anong ginagawa mo so next question natin mga kachin fanatics Ayan. so top 3 tips and advice for vlogging so for me top 3 best advice ko I think um, you should be ano lang uh, kailangan you should put heart in every uh step up away. So, sa lahat ng mga ginagawa natin, kailangan may puso lang tayo. Kailangan buo yung loob natin, saka napaka-normal or natural lang yung ginagawa natin. Kasi unang-una, we, we give information, we, we, we give uh, positivity and uh, good communication process sa ibang tao. Na para at least, they inform, saka matuto sila sa lahat ng mga bagay na hindi nila alam. Uh, second, I think, is uh, yung freedom. So, you have freedom to speak. And then also, you have freedom to express what emotion, what you have. So, isa yung sa mga pinaka-importanteng uh, part ng vlogging tips ko. Third, oh, third ko is uh, the trust. This is one of my uh, part or ito yung pinaka-importante sa lahat na makuha mo yung trust ng tao na nanonood sa'yo. Na makuha mo yung mga sets of uh, good comments. It doesn't mean, you know what? I really respect to those people, both negative and positive, kasi isa yun sa mga mode of, uh, ano natin, feelings, how to express feelings and emotions. Kasi, hindi naman ibig sabihin na sinabihan ka ng mabuti, is may mga negative and positive, or may mga bashers talaga. You know what? Uh, thankful pa rin tayo sa mga bashers, because they are the one who make our videos trending. So, yun talaga yung pinaka-real talk. So, next question and last question natin, mga Kachin Fanatics, is... Okay. Five words to describe vlogging. So for me, vlogging, uh, I go for love. So you have love what you're doing, respect, respect each one of us, freedom, freedom to speak, and then to express your emotions. Equality, you accept uh, people around you, no matter what, no matter what gender that they have. And then lastly is the trust, to get the trust of those people around you. Sa lahat ng mga tao sa paligid natin, we should accept those facts na kailangan uh, makinig at uh, matuto tayong uh, magsalita para at least maintindihan tayo ng ibang tao. So yun lang mga kachin fanatics, uh, that is all my vlogging setup and then at the same time all my tips and advice how vlogging is all about. So yun mga kachin fanatics, I hope nag-enjoy kayo at marami kayo natutunan sa vlog na to. 
At kung bago ka lang sa channel to, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button at para update ka sa lahat ng mga videos ni upload ko. So mga kachin fanatics and all the budget critics around the world, this is Shinito Ong signing off.